Hey, look at you running. Is he got? He just jumped off the cliff. What are you doing there, mate? We're trying to chase a damn paralysis guy. Come on. He literally just jumped off the cliff here. Oh, there he is. Come over here, mate. I feel like you... Woo! He flying! Is he still chasing me? Hello everyone, welcome back again to some more Ark Survival Evolved. We're back in my gaff, as you can see. Some things may be a little bit different. Some things may be the same. But in all reality... What? Now I know what you may be thinking. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. But um, I'm just going to tell you this very frankly. Um, my game got corrupted. Shock. What a surprise. You know, the great, the great infamous thing that just constantly happens to me whenever playing this damn game is annoying. But luckily, at least with the backup file, I actually, it actually backed up something. So we actually have the two dinosaurs that I lost when I fought that titanosaur. Well, I didn't exactly fight it, but I tried to tame it. And obviously, they're now back alive. Uh, as is for all of the other dinosaurs that I tamed since then. Yeah, they don't longer exist anymore. So we are back a bit further. And obviously, you may have noticed, I don't have the OP automatic weapons anymore it's a lot harder but there are some interesting ones like obviously these dinosaurs are back alive now so they're all nice and well or or handy dandy i've been able to be a bit more efficient with my knowledge and the fact that i actually now know what i can and can't do i've spent a long time collecting resources so we can make all of our advanced stuff again everything's all pretty much up together and to put one final nail in the coffin you remember how back in the day, I don't know, episode 26, in which where I lost my shark? Well, if you look over there, there is my shark. And I I thought, I was like, oh, okay, cool, my shark actually made it back. That's all good. But, um, unfortunately, um, as cool as it is, I was like, oh, bro, my shark is here. It disappeared for so long, and now it's here. And I leveled it up, and I was like, oh, yeah, cool. Turns out, he's beached himself, or herself. This woman has just decided, it is a female, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, this shark has just decided to beach itself and now can't move and now it's stuck here. So I actually still don't have a shark. Even though it's there, it is useless to me because it can't get back into the damn ocean. It's literally merged with the shore. So this is our gang right now. I'm pretty much trying to like piece ourselves together once again again. And here we are. Like we don't have any of the artifacts either. I've got a couple cryo tubes. And a Megaloso saddle. But apart from that, absolutely nothing. Obviously, despite the fact that we've lost quite a few things and obviously we're a bit more further back, our knowledge as to what we have done and what we may do, that knowledge is still there. Like, I'm still aware as to what I do. Like, obviously, I know where two artifacts are. I think what I might end up doing is I might end up just locate all of the artifacts on the island. And then do one massive episode where I literally go in, individual one, and get them all at once. As like, um, as a massive heist, essentially, to collect all the artifacts. I think that's the plan I have in mind now. Because, well, obviously, I know where two artifacts are. They're very easy to get. And obviously, I think I possibly know of where a third one is. But obviously, that's in, like, the final cave that literally gave me nightmares. And as for the rest, I think I roughly know where I think I can find one of them next to the volcano somewhere. But apart from that, that leaves me with how many? One, two, three, four. There's still five more in the world somewhere that we have to explore. So there is still stuff we can do. And obviously we have our very overpowered dinosaurs here. We just need to get more. But luckily, we can get all of them back very easily with the knowledge of these damn pheromone darts. Not the pheromone darts. The shocking tranquilizer darts. Which we need tranquilizer darts and biotoxin. And luckily, what took me an hour before... Is now probably only going to take me 10 minutes. Obviously, this obviously gives me also an opportunity to test all the weapons from an even perspective. Like, maybe the fabricated sniper rifle might be better. What have I got? A Descendant Diplodocus saddle. That may be something we might be able to take. Right, we need to kill some scorpions. Well, there's also another dossier here. What's this one? When Nerva and his band return from the cave, oh, this is just this woman. Huh? I may as well take advantage of it. I realize that had I just ignored the signs and accepted this paradise at face value, okay. I don't know. I'd still be happy and free. Alright, okay. Well, 
Fair enough, I guess. Alright. Well, we've... Well, I've got a couple more levels, and I've got a freaking XP bonus. Let's use that and murder some insects. Right, let's take this albino freaking T-Rex, bro. Come on, man. Bro, you look ashy, bro. <laughs> Damn. He's dead. Getting all the experience. I'm trying to make this guy, like, as overpowered as possible. Right, boom. We're getting all the hide. Yes, bro. We killing machines. Well, it's not here yet, but it's coming down. Maybe we might wait. This is exactly, like, where I got the rifle this time. Like, literally in this exact place. I don't think it was a purple one that dropped. I think it was a gold one. But who knows, maybe. I don't know how, like, scripted these supply drops are. If they'll always give me a, uh, a specific item based on the location, time of day, and obviously, you know. If I'm back in time, I guess it's ideal, you know, if I can manipulate the time. Because that's what I'm trying to do here. Because obviously, you know, it is a bit annoying that we are, like, behind schedule again. We could, might, this could, might work in our favor. Because obviously, we've got our lost dinosaurs back. And obviously, we know of what's ahead. So, we work around that. Potentially, we could be a bit more better, a bit more efficient. And we just got to go for it, really. Like, there's going to be a point where I'm just going to have to explore. Go straight into the cave. Grab the stuff and go. Like, that's it. That's all I really need to do, really. Like, which... I don't know. There's something about the fact that if I just go and rush to do all of the caves with, like, a couple dinosaurs, I don't know. It feels like I'm kind of missing out on the game a bit. I don't know. I don't know, right? I don't know how to describe it because it's kind of, like, a feeling. Like, you know, like... Because I could go and end the game right now. I could literally go, get the best equipment, go into the caves, and grab the artifacts and win. Like, that's it. But, you know, the whole fact of exploring, taming dinosaurs, making new dinosaurs by reproducing them, and then, like, any other secrets, finding all the dossiers. Like, there's so much that I could do to the game that makes the game better, but you don't have to do that. kind of ruins the game a little bit. There may be a point where, like, you have to do stuff. But I guess it's kind of annoying. But what I'm doing now is also annoying, especially with very unfortunate circumstances. What have I got in here? An Ascendant Manta Saddle. That's it. I think between between the end of this episode and next episode, I think I will just go around and just maybe do, like, uh, supply drop hunting. See if I get any, any cool things that might help us. Because at the end of the day, like, if we get, like, a very overpowered weapon, that weapon will, like, sit us straight. Like, oh, look at that, bro. Is that the Tapajara that I was able to tame last time? I think it is. That's the same Tapajara that I had before. Hey, yo, bro, I now know... But the Tabajara can't pick up dinosaurs. So the Argentavis is better, which we have. Look, there's the tech thing. Like, some of the creatures are still here that they were before. Which also means that that Titanosaur and that Carcharodontus may also still be where they are. Ooh, I got an Ascendant Sword. And a Dunculus Theosis. Fantastic. There we go. That's something. Although I am almost overweight. Right. See, look, these geezers are still here. There's that tech stegosaurus. I know the future, man. There's a the Tapajara right there. But, like, I know that, you know, they're not useful, so I won't really bother with them. I think I'll just keep my Argentavis alive, and boom, there you go. I'm set. I said, forewarned is forearmed. Like, I know what's coming, and I know what lies around those mountains. So, this could potentially work out in our favor, maybe. I can only make 53. Oh, it takes a lot of narcotics. Luckily, I think I've got, like... So much raw meat. Yeah, look at this, bro. I got so much raw meat, right? We need some more stuff, right? You know what? I'm going to stick the tranquilizer arrows in there because I don't think I'll need them if I've got pheromone darts. Right. Let's grab you. Damn, bro. He's speedy. Right, more stamina. Oh, look at this guy dancing, bro. Cool. Like, I missed this. Like, the horse was probably, like, the biggest heartbreak for me. I mean, the Argentavis freaking got trampled on, but... Hey, yo... Let's bro, more levels, more speed. All right, we want the narco berries, bro. Give me all these narco berries. I can now make more drugs. Exactly 200. Damn, bro. This brontosaurus is kind of annoying, bro. Don't, don't let me make you kill you, fam. Right, let's go hunting. These are what we want. Was good, my guys. If only if I could actually aim at the damn geezers. Oh, I'm actually bear struggling here. There we go. Oh, damn. These ones are a bit more powerful than before. Damn, my aim is whack, bro. Right, stand still. Aim. 
We're getting a little bit too close there. Ugh. Trying to shoot on the drift. Ugh. Don't get too close, bro. Don't get too close. Shoot it. Oh. Alright. Cool. Boom. I now have the biotoxin. Okay, I've got some tranquilizer. Right, so weapons. Ammo. Oh, yeah, I need to turn it on. Turn it on. 53 shocking tranquilizer darts. Let me guess, am I missing? Yeah, I'm missing narcotics. More narcotics. Weapons. Ammo. Crap. I think I also need narcotics for this as well, don't I? No, it's just the tranquilizer darts, metal, and toxin. You tell what I got. Okay. I now have the shocking tranquilizer darts. Let's go. Time to knock out some geezers. Now, what do we want exactly? What do we need? We need like something that can help us in caves, but isn't too small. Like, I mean, a dilophosaurus. Like, what is there like a complex? Like, like, I could try and get a frog again. That's an option. Or I could go and maybe try and tame something a bit big. I mean, the caves is where we need to go, really, right? That's that's what we need. The caves is where it's at. I need a creature that can, like, deal with caves and is obviously very good against insects. There's another ruin here. Oh, is that a dossier? What's this one? Let's have a look. Ganotosaurus furiosa is an enormous predator. Whoa. Than the Tyrannosaurus or Spinosaurus. What did you say? Gigantic? It's a Giganotosaurus. It means certain death for nearly any creature. Okay. I haven't seen one of these. Directly is never a good idea, as its rage rapidly grows with every hit it takes. Okay. With this rage, it builds increasing reserves of energy to use. Aye. Making its iron-jawed bites progressively more deadly and enhancing its stamina. Okay, this is like the top the predator. Its huge body also enables it to take a tremendous amount of punishment, and you have a creature that is generally better avoided or outsmarted than attacked head-on. Okay. Taming Gigantosaurus is a dangerous prospect. Okay, is there a specific it's thing for it? Even when tamed, can sometimes cause it to briefly turn on members of its own tribe. Huh? Indeed, it may even throw off its rider if it has been sufficiently tamed. And yet. Yeah, the sheer size and immense power that the Gigantosaurus possesses Damn. means that some factions endeavor to tame it as a fear-inducing capital beast of war, even at great risk. Okay, this is interesting. I don't think I've seen one of these. I don't know if I want to after reading that, but I guess with the knowledge that I now know... That if I do want to tame one of those, it doesn't mention anything about a specific taming method, but... I guess even when it's tamed, it can still eat me. Not exactly the most trusting dinosaur to be dealt with, but definitely can kill anything and almost everything. Definitely a creature you want to have on your side if we're having to encounter another big creature. But I don't know what's bigger than them. Also, just as a little side rant, I know I call it Giganotosaurus, but I've, I've heard some people call it Gigantosaurus, or like... Gigantosaurus or something like I don't know what the correct pronunciation is, but or is it Gijai or something or Jai Gig? I don't know. So I think this is probably where like their biggest predators are. Would be pretty cool if we could probably get ourselves a Giga. I mean, I don't think I have anything that I I don't know if it's a normal. I mean, I've got stuff. I got meat. I don't know if it'll need prime meat instead. So I think I think this is where like the big predator. I think is this where I saw the Kakudondosaurus or is that? That might be that mountain over there where I saw it. See, there's a couple raptors, allosauruses. Like, we've got options as to what we want. Or maybe should we go for the... Should we go for, like, any of the arctic creatures? Or are they trying to aim for me? Is he trying to fight me? I think the wolf is trying to get me. You stay there. I hope you're on neutral. No, you're on behavior. Change to neutral. Right. Shut up! Stop! Snitching. Whoa, it's dead. Stop. Stop. Okay. Okay, I killed that one. That one died. Bro, it, that one was knocked out, man. Wait, you're on neutral. What the hell are you doing? That was only like two walls. Where's the rest of the pack, man? Oh, that's the thing that jumps at me and paralyzes me. That's that asshole. Maybe that might be helpful. Oh, really? Bro. Okay, you know what? That wolf is dead. Yep. 
Where is that thing? It's in the ground, isn't it? Or is that it there? That's it there. Stop moving. Stop moving, bro. You ain't gonna paralyze my ass. Nope. No, no, no. Hey, look at you running. Is he got he just jumped off the cliff. What are you doing there, mate? We're trying to chase a damn paralysis guy. Come on. He literally just jumped off the cliff here. Oh, there he is. Come over here, mate. I feel like you... Woo! He's flying! Is he still chasing me? No, he's over there. There he is. There he is. Ugh. Okay, he's down. Sheep. Move! What's good? A perviola. Alright. I assume you eat me. You're the guys that come out of the ground. You're also in caves, I think, as well. Here we go. You're going to eat that? Okay, taming. Wild Mayor Pelovia. You're the ones that come out of the ground and, like, paralyze me. Or daze me, or whatever the status element is called. But that's what you do. You literally look like a pre Like, you're, like, part mole. Part, like... like I don't even know what... What are you, bro? I don't even know what you are, man. Damn, you are ugly. Like, I've seen some ugly creatures in this gaff, but, like, you, my friend, might just top it, you know? Like, you're, like, part mole, part rat. Like, I don't even know what you are, man. Like, bro, you, you got teeth. You got furless feet. You got a weird ass tail, bro. And you got teeth. Yeah, bro, but your hairline, though, is actually kind of mad, you know. It's actually not that bad. Man's got that fade around the back of the skull. I'm literally just waiting for this thing to be tamed. I know I'm chatting the most absolute rubbish, but, like, you know, there's not really much I can do when I have to wait for this geezer to tame. And, like, you know, we're kind of on the side of a hill. Hey, yo, bro. Name your pullover. Y'all here. Wait, bury. Wait, I can set you as like a trap? Hang on, I can't see right now because it's night time. Can I grab you? Right. Stay there, bro. I'm trying to grab you. Right, just hang on. You really have to wait. I gotta wait for night time to pass now. I can't tell if you're in the ocean or anything. Right, we just gotta wait for night time to pass. Come on. Hurry your ass up, bro. Get that sun in gear now. All right, I think the sun's coming up. There we go. Woo. All of this time wasting, and for what? Let's grab you. Wait. Don't tell me you can't grab this guy. Are you serious, man? Can you not? Are you serious, bro? Are you literally... <sighs> Looks like we walking from here. I hope you can keep up, man. I hope this rocky terrain doesn't do you over. Bro, come out of the water, brother. Oh, this is so dead, man. Really? Okay, you can. All right. How do we get back, man? I've got to walk all the way back, bro. He's being followed. Hey, yo, bro. There's geezers behind you, man. Watch out. Fight him. I guess I have to fight as well. Okay, there, there was a lot of walls. Oh, my pullover was killed. Are you serious, bro? Ah, oh, my God, man. Bro, I can pick up a freaking Allosaurus, but I can't pick up a freaking mole. This is dead, man. How, why can I not pick him up? Can I tame a freaking sheep? What do I need to do with you? All right, bar bar. Oh, wait, no, that's not a sheep. That's like some antelope thingy. It looks like a sheep. Hoping it just eats grass. It should do, right? It looks like it's supposed to have horns, but it's just got giant holes instead. Tame your megalosaurus. Sheep. Bro. No. Sheep. The hell is making that noise? Oh, there's beef over there. Right. Can you pick up the damn sheep? Sheep. Okay, you can pick up the sheep, but not the freaking... This game is slowly constipating my mind. I can pick up animals twice the size. Alright, I'm taking sheep. 
I've, I've got a sheep, like, my god, man. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing odd stuff on the fly because everything I've tried to do has literally failed. And, like, it's, it's impossible. Like, what am I supposed to do? What do I do? You know what, yeah, I just need to get lucky with the weapons, I think. I just need to go around all of the supply caches and hope that I, like, get, like, an OP weapon. That's literally my only hope. Because the, the process of which it takes to not only knock out a dinosaur, but then to tame it. But the most annoying thing is to actually get it back. Now, I guess I could just use the damn cryo tubes when I get the dinosaur. That is an option that has not crossed my mind at all. Now it has, and I feel like I'm even more frustrated and embarrassed to the point that I could have done that. I could have tamed the geezer once he's tamed, whack him in the low-budget Pokeball, and then just, you know, ship him home. That was it. I could have done that. Why did I not think of that? Oh my god, bro. So we went from having a dead family to more family to less family with a sheep. I come back with a sheep. Like... You do anything special? You got 35 levels. Melee damage. I give the sheep more health. Give the sheep a load of health. And then just melee damage. You know what, bro? This sheep is a killer. Damn. War sheep. I, I got it. The sheep is gonna do a madness. All right. The sheep is the hell. Feed to no berry. Alright, I think I've already got a female Lystrosaurus. Yeah, right, I'm gonna go quickly grab that red one quickly. Meow. Before it disappears, although probably due to my inconvenience, it's probably gonna disappear as soon as I get there. It is a red one though, so perhaps maybe it might be something good. I swear to God, bro, if you give me a blueprint. What have I got? A Pachyrhinosaurus and a Megaloceros. I don't even know what that is. I feel like that's that cave dinosaur, I think. I don't know. Right, there's nothing else here, right? Right. Back we go. So, I've, 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 what have I done today? I have, you know, stated the fact that we are now back. I've, that we are now back in time, essentially. I've managed to pretty much get back up to the point where I've got the damn dark, so I can literally knock out almost every dinosaur. And I've tamed a sheep. That's it an hour of recording to do this bro it's so time consuming bro this sheep wait hang on a minute megaloceros that's you that's the sheep oh my god yo bro i would may as well i don't know do i use the sheep to attack or well the arm well it's an ascendant megaloceros that has armor it's armor for the sheep. I'm not gonna... Uh, you know what? Yeah, bro. This sheep's just gonna be a weapon. The sheep is gonna be a killing machine, bro. Listen, bro. This game has been a joke to me. I'm going to be a joke to the game. I'm gonna fight off the horrors of the prehistoric era with nothing more than a lamb chop. And that lamb is going to chop. I got a sheep and a horse and a bird and... Uh... A giga crocodile. This is my team, bro. I got a spiky turtle. Or a freaking eagle. We got a sheep, we got a horse, I've got a very nice friendly bear, whatever it's called. Uh, I'll give you, you know, I'll make you a weapon as well. I'm just gonna make the, like, this may be very stupid, because obviously these things are obviously not designed to attack. Normally the giant creatures with the big teeth. But you know what, yeah bro, this is 2024 bro, I'm gonna be that cringe. I'm just gonna be like, yeah bro, you can be anything man. If this sheep wants to be a killing machine, so be it. Sheep's gonna kill. And you know what? We're probably going to test that out next time. Because next time, we're going to do a madness. I feel like, you know what? Let's just go into... Let's just go into a cave. Let me just check real quick. Where's the Pokeballs at? Give me one of these. Alright. Pokemon, gotta get... Right. Sheep! Come with me. Aha. I have taken sheep. Oh, he keeps the armor, but loses the food. We might have to take some food with us, actually, to be honest. But if I do... Deploy sheep. <laughs> Yo, bro. You know what, man? Maybe this might be the strat, you know? Maybe it literally just might be a matter of, you know what, yeah? Let's just, let's just, let's just go to hell with it. Because, like, why not, bro? Like, come on, bro. Let's, let's just, let's just be joking. Let's, let's be comedic, shall we, bro? We're going to go to war with some livestock. 
that's what we're going to do next time. So until we're graced with a chance to meet again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And until the next time, where I think we're going to go into a different cave this time, I might just go back and just grab the other artifacts off camera, maybe. Or maybe you want me to see, you know, maybe we could just, you know, do it again. And obviously, we know what we can do. We may as well go in and, you know, have fun with it. Because as far as I'm concerned, I think I've gone... Like, I've gone insane to the point where, you know what? I've actually just realized that I can just be completely crazy. Like, bro, it, I, I'm just going to have fun with it now. Like, bro, man, I'm here just doing madness. All right, madness. That's what's going to happen. I'm having to deal with stuff. Now the stuff's going to have to deal with me. So that's what we're going to be doing and more in the future. So until then.